this is RD relay shield. So you can see four relays, then you have terminal for each relay. So NC and common pin is breakout. Then you have four LED here on the top side for indicating the status of each relay if they are on or off. So in the next section, we'll see interfacing with various boards. So now we are on SB component side here. RD relay shield page is open. So for getting started and other resources, you can see here software and hardware GitHub link. Hardware GitHub link provide you design file of this particular hardware and software GitHub where you will find getting started. You can see all interfacing detail is available. So when you interface this relationship with Arduino, no, so this particular digital pins are being consumed. And when you interface this on RD32, so this GPIO pin will be used. And for RD by this GPIO pin will be used. So while handling this, please do take precaution when dealing with high volt AC. So for demo, we are not connecting right now. We'll just connect and see the working of relay. So we'll avoid AC volt right now. So what is suggested, just download complete GitHub. So in the example folder, you will see demo codes for all three board. So let me open this Arduino no code. And by the time we'll connect Arduino no with the shield and connect COM port. So USB port connected. Arduino no. Okay, so you see. Uh, first, we need to select Arduino Uno. So we are using Arduino Uno, and then whatever port you get, on port. So basically, this port switch on and switch off the relay in a sequence. Just upload. So you will get status of each relay when they. So you can see. So switching on and off. So similarly, we will see with RD Pi and RD32 board also. So same code, but with the very uh, different board. So you can connect. But now we are using RD32, so ESP32 S3 module is used. So select that that as your board and then COM port. Okay, so just upload. So beauty of this board is that it is compatible with 3.3 as well as 5 volt. So you don't have to worry. Don't need to worry about voltage level. So it takes some time compiling and then it will start uploading. No need to press boot button. Automatically it will upload code. So you can see this is running properly. Okay, so next RDPI. So now just connect to RDPI. Okay, that's it. And connect USB cable, micro USB cable. So connection done and you have to just open this RD by relay shield interfacing code which I have already opened into Thony and make sure to select board micro python with suitable com port you can transfer this code to pico but just for testing we will run directly from Thony see that's it working properly so change code as per your application okay thank you